And this is the reason I refuse to drop the bank on La Vies Bell. Hi guys, Shani here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video. Now I know I make like videos um, on hauls of course, but mostly for TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Burlington and places like such where I go and I look for fragrances I can find on deals and it's usually off the cuff. I don't generally have um, like a plan on what to get. I like that idea of like surprise of what's on clearance or what I can find and also I think it's important for you guys so when you go out to shop you know what's in the stores but for me personally this is my favorite haul because these are fragrances that I had on my wish list for a very long time these are fragrances that I pretty much research um, um, watch videos on um, went into no matter how high the anxiety is in stores like uh, Perfume Mania or Macy's to try to smell them and see if I like them these are fragrances that I am so happy to have in my collection I'm sure you could tell by the title this is obviously an orange blossom haul if you have been a subscriber of mine guys you know the love I have for orange blossom that is my favorite favorite note in a fragrance Dior Addict. Now, I picked up the 2012 as well as a formulation as 2014 formulation. Now, I was on the fence on for this fragrance for a long time. I because it got reformulated three times already. Original formulation was in 2002, then it got reformulated in 2012. Then it got reformulated again in 2014. And, you know, if you go on Fragrantica, everybody's talking about which one they prefer. Most people hated the 2012, which is this one. Because it wasn't true to the original. A lot of people appreciate this, but they think it's like, um, which is the 2014 um, version, which they think is like, a complete ripoff to the original bottle design changed everything about it changed now, spoiler alert I love both of them and I decided to just go into Macy's you know I smell it and I'm and the, the the vanilla this boozy vanilla scent mixed with like a hint of like bitter citrus snow just was so mesmerizing to me and I didn't care one bit that this was a reformulated um dior addict i knew for certain that i needed this fragrance so i picked this up which was relatively good discount of fragrancenet.com because this bottle was like 90 dollars comparing to the price tag in macy's for 130 dollars and i was very curious to, so i got this one so i show you guys a little bit of uh, of both now the big difference between the two top part where you twist the spray it, it doesn't it doesn't come off you just twist the top to lock it or twist it to spray whereas this one comes off like that and you have a regular sprayer with the Dior Attic written all over and the Dior inside the cover and now this this is a this is old this is 2012 batch and this is relatively new this is a 2017 batch so of course this is gonna smell much fresher they don't smell identical but you can see it could be like if they were making flankers you know how you have Olympia Olympia intense blah 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 if they were making flankers you could see that they're in the same re um, relations but I love both mm. I love both and man I love what Macy said on their website pertaining to it but let me read it to you because you're gonna see what the biasness is Macy says sophisticated oriental fragrance with a floral heart with a passionate intuitive woman who ignores dictates and follows her own rule the Dior addict attitude is revealed in the heart of the fragrance the Jamaican Queen of Night 
a rare and elusive flower that is considered the soul of enchantment. Experience the intensely seductive dear addict. Oh my God. That description on Macy's is exactly what it smells like. Exactly. Like, so this is like my babies now. My babies. Oh my God. Another massive love for me, guys, is Classique Essence. Essence de Parfum is so gorgeous. Bottle design is just so beautiful. You know, have some like resemblance to the original bottle, but it's more structure, more refined. As the, uh, and the original bottle is a little bit more voluptuous. Mm, something about it very similar to Olympia. I think it's that very sweet. You want to say it's gourmand, but it's not. There's something about it that's just so rich and intense it has a little bitterness to it but it's like sweet as well and and, and, and creamy and and dense and very mysterious but very also very captivated it's just a beautiful fragrance I've been eyeing this I've seen a classic classic has a thousand and one version of classic and I smell the original classic and I liked it but I don't think I liked it enough and I wanted to make like the best pick for you know my for the price point and I tried the classic and the classy uh, or the toilet and all these different versions and I find that this one to me is the most beautiful version of the uh, all of the classic line and another one that I've been eyeing for the longest while was Givenchy uh, angel or demon I'm gonna say angel and demon the secret elixir now I was eyeing the original angel um, and demon or a, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that and or demon I don't know um, but I was eyeing that one first and then I realized that this one has the orange blossom in it and I was wondering, should I get it, should I not get it? But man, I am in love with it. Bottle design is superb. Now, I know, I don't know if this was reformulated, but I know the bottle design change. And usually when you have a bottle design that change, usually that means reformulation, but I'm not quite sure. Anyhow, I don't care. I love this fragrance. There's nothing in the notes that I see on Fragrantica that gives the opening the scent that it has which is a very bubbly grape soda smell i mean everything in the in the scent is you know very citrusy and you know orange blossom of course very green like a lot of yellow white flowers and uh, has vanilla has patchouli but there's something about it that smells very bubbly very grape like the back is just stunning it just looks like a gem gorgeous bottle I love I love perfume like this makes me n not want to buy um, La Vie S Belle by Lancôme fragrances like this cause that problem because this is a gorgeous fragrance from Catherine Maladrino now I've been eyeing this fragrance for a minute and it's pretty expensive online and I even tried to make a bargain with somebody on eBay, you know, and I hate going in the room of eBay, but that was like the cheapest I can find it. And I tried to put like a, a, a offer price on it and that person denied me. And that was the best thing they could have ever did because one random day I went into Century 21 and I found it. Oh my God! It smells a lot like La Vie Belle by by um, Lancome. A lot, a lot. Swap out the proline for, and put in some caramel notes. This is a fruity bombshell. This is very sexy. This is like a mass, uh, mass appealing, mainstream, sexy. And this is the reason I refuse to drop the bank. On La Vie Belle because too many fragrances like Marbusin and fragrances like that that carry similar DNA to La Vie Belle with price point that is like insane. This it doesn't smell cheap. This would be like 
bougie on a budget in my eyes because I thought that I would have to drop fifty dollars and more discounted price because the price it makes is in, is insane to get this fragrance and I spent twenty dollars for a three point four ounce at Century Twenty One for this fragrance which is Romance de Provence by Catherine Maladrino and I am so happy to have it in my collection and I'm so happy to pay $20 for it this man Garland Charlemar Suffle de Parfum I wanted something from Charlemar but I want to be honest with you guys as much as I love vintage scent I did not like Charlemar now and I, I respect that fragrance but I own too many fragrances that's vintage to pick up another vintage fragrance that I did not like. And I wanted something that is of that Rome Shalimar, but it's, you know, more me. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Shalimar suffered the perfume. It's fresh, it's light, it's citrusy, it's very summery, fits the weather right now. You have the slither of Shalimar in there, but more youthful, very, very youthful, very now. And it's, uh, it's um, mildly sweet, so it, it's very feminine and fresh and girly and like a summer dress in the park. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I've been eyeing it for a while and I'm so happy to have it. Last but certainly not least is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. I wanted this fragrance so much and I think that it could be my next ladylike scent. Beautiful fragrance, very, very uh, pretty. I'm going to spray some right now here. Easily can be your signature scent. Easy has something about it that is like very calm very accepting to everyone but not forgotten it's very memorable beautiful beautiful fragrance I wanted it for the longest time oh my god it's just so gorgeous because I could see I could see any situation for this fragrance and, and play very well. Like I can see a woman in a suit in this fragrance and being the boss of her job. I can see um, going on a date on a fragrance and feeling very pretty and sexy and your best version of yourself. I can see it being your everyday fragrance that you just spray just because. And I can see it being the perfume you pull out for special occasion. Like it can play so many roles. It, it's so versatile this scent I've been wanting this forever and I wasn't sure if I want the intense or I want this or I want the intense or I want this but I'm glad that I picked this one one up instead because it's something about is this maybe because of the fruity notes that's in it that is not in the intense that makes it a little bit more uh, I don't know inviting I should say beautiful beautiful fragrance so happy it's in my collection and thank you guys for going down the rabbit hole with me in the land of orange blossom we know that i have a massive obsession with orange blossom if you have a particular note that you adore in fragrances comment down below tell me what it is and tell me some fragrances you like and why is it your favorite note I love to get to know you guys. It's the, the most fun I have. I'm so thankful for all you guys that watches my video, that interact with me, that comment. I named this channel Shauna, Shauna Scent Story, but it's definitely not just my story. It's this whole community story. So feel free to comment down below and tell me your story. Why you love fragrances, what notes you like why you love them and what fragrance you have in your collection or are dying to get in your collection and why thanks for watching guys i appreciate all of you guys have a great day happy fourth of july see you in the next video bye